New information tonight about the plane that crashed near the Shadron Airport, resulting in the death of three California residents. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a preliminary report from federal aviation safety officials did not list the cause of a small plane crash in the Panhandle last week that killed three people. However, the report from the National Transportation Safety Board released on Wednesday did relay what two witnesses to the crash saw. One witness, located at the Shadron Airport, told officials that he saw the plane as it was preparing to land suddenly drop nose down behind a tree line. Another witness, just northeast of the crash, said she heard the plane sputter as though it was losing power before the crash. The documents also say initial examination of the wreckage revealed the fuel tanks were breached due to the impact and there was no evidence of fuel spills underneath the airplane with only three ounces of fuel in the right fuel strainer assembly and one ounce of fuel in the left engine driven fuel pump supply line. The plane wreckage was retained for further examination and the July 24th crash claimed the lives of 25 year old Duncan Brown and his parents 61 year old Damon Brown and 68 year old Sarah Brown. The flight originated from Oshkosh, Wisconsin and was destined for Shadron. Well, the city of Gehring's new finance director is now a week into her new position and is gearing up for budget discussions for the upcoming fiscal year. However, Renee Jimenez tells KNB News that given the process is already underway and her short time in the new position, her involvement will be more along the lines of watching, learning and hearing the direction the city council would like to go. Right now, because I'm coming in at the end of the budget process, uh, Tammy, our HR director, and Amanda, the um, accounting office coordinator, um, have had the budget under control, have met with the committees. So, so they've taken the ball, they've ran with it, they've done a great job keeping things um, on track and on progress. And so I'm not going to step in the middle of all that. I'm, I'm learning, and it's more of like an orientation process for me of how, how gearing handles, how, how they handle their process of the budget. Jimenez says producing a budget is always a balancing act, and Gehring will be no exception. She says that she was drawn to the new post because her children and their families live in the area, and the Gehring position means increased ability to spend time with family. Well, straight ahead, severe weather is expected to be making its presence known across the region tonight. Will Boyer will have the latest right after this on KNEB.TV News. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. Fly United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver and a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today. Plus, all United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flight. Finally, while visiting Western Nebraska Regional Airport, grab a bite to eat at the Flight Deck Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. The pecan chicken salad and ultimate BLT sandwiches from Arby's. It's like eating a whole farmer's market. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. A very active evening coming our way as we have thunderstorms rolling across the area right now. 
They're going to continue for the next couple of hours, uh, even into the nighttime hours. We expect thunderstorms to continue. They should clear out uh, late tonight in the overnight hours into early tomorrow and will turn partly cloudy. Uh, but until then, we're going to be dealing with some thunderstorms this evening. A flash flood watch is in effect. We expect very heavy rains from these storms. They're going to be numerous out there. Heavy rain is going to be likely. Can't rule out some hail too. Uh, other than that, uh, that's kind of our primary threats. Heavy rain, especially heavy rain, and some hail. Now everybody should get some precip uh, tonight, but uh, it may not be evenly dispersed. Maybe a, a couple hundreds, a, a tenth or two in some areas, and uh, very heavy rain possible in others. We should start to dry out tomorrow albeit not completely dry. 91 yesterday, we weren't nearly that warm today after a low of 62. Uh, we ended the month of July at just under two inches, so about normal for July. That's how we're gonna wrap up the month of July. We're gonna start August wet today, obviously, but we're going into August with a two and a half inch surplus across the region. We do have watches in effect. We told you flash flood watches are out. Here they are. Flash flood watches cover northeastern Colorado over the western two-thirds of the Nebraska Panhandle, Niobrara County, down to Goshen County, and eastern Wyoming as well. So we do have those flash flood watches out there. Temperatures right now are in the 80s across the region. Hayes checks in at 93 right now. Uh, our area, though, 70s and 80s, so much cooler today than where we've been the last couple of days, thanks to cloud cover and some showers out there. Upper 70s, low 80s, even some low 70s where those showers had an earlier start today. East winds, 10 to uh, 15 miles an hour, still pumping in that moisture. That moisture we saw return to the area last night. It continues uh, across the area today, and that's what's feeling those thunderstorms. We do have a slight risk of severe weather, I think mainly to our south. We can't rule out a marginal severe thunderstorm, primarily in the form of hail. Again, hail could be uh, some of these with some of these thunderstorms tonight. But again, the primary threat is going to be that heavy rain tomorrow and on into uh, uh, Saturday. Then the severe weather threat pretty much non-existent across our region. We'll have an isolated shower or storm. So here's Futurecast showing these showers and storms rolling across the region tonight. By 10, 11 o'clock, they'll start to be more scattered in nature and uh, overnight then thunderstorm chances are going to decrease across the region. Low temperatures tonight are going to be right around that 60 degree mark. They can't fall a whole lot because the dew points are up so high uh, and that kept temperatures uh, mild this morning. Any of those thunderstorms off to our east tomorrow morning, we'll start to see clouds thin. By afternoon, things are going to clear off here across the region and one or two isolated late day thunderstorms from that residual moisture not out of the question tomorrow although you'll notice not nearly the coverage tomorrow as what we saw today, and that is going to be a continuing trend for the rest of the week. Highs tomorrow are going to be back into the mid-80s, low to mid-80s for most of us, so not too bad out there. Let's take a look at precip. Now, uh, we're going to show you the numbers behind these, but don't focus too much on the numbers. In fact, we'll take the numbers off here in a minute. So this is what we're looking at for tonight through early uh, tomorrow, and this goes through Saturday morning, but this is primarily all going to be for tonight. We see some areas picking up over an inch of precip. Now, what's important to note, we'll take these uh, numbers away and just show you uh, where we're at here in the lay of the land. Some of these areas, you'll see a few areas. This is what will happen. You'll see some areas pick up one, two inches of rain out of this system, maybe even two to three inches in a few isolated areas. And then neighboring areas may only have a couple of tenths of an inch. So where are these little circles? They're very hard to predict where those circles are going to be. There's some areas here. This uh, particular forecast models zeroing in on Sterling uh, for some heavy rain. So don't focus on exactly where you're at on this circle. Note that everybody's going to get some rain, we think, tonight and some pockets of heavy rain, which could cause flash flooding. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you uh, observe flash flooding or flash flooding is observed in your area, seek higher ground. Flash flood watch tonight, thunderstorms with heavy rain and hail. 62 year low. We clear out tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. We expect just a stray shower or thunderstorm. So much moisture around here, we can't rule that out. Mid 80s for highs. And as we look at our seven day forecast, we go back into the low 90s uh, for the latter half of the weekend, near 90 uh, Saturday and Monday as we book in that Sunday is the warmest reading. Then back into the upper 80s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And we aren't putting any thunderstorms on the forecast for the next seven days but we don't have the chances at zero either. They're in that 10 to 20% chance every day. 
Can't rule out an isolated day where we may see more coverage of thunderstorms, but it's really tough to pinpoint uh, those particular days right now as we don't see a big weather maker coming across the region. If a sandwich needs a little something extra, you add bacon to it. If a sandwich is perfect just the way it is, you add bacon to it. Arby's, we have the meat. KNEB presents country music rising star, Dylan Scott. I'm Friday, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff. Presented by Allo Communications and Vieira Wireless. Tickets are on sale now at the Midwest Theater box office by phone at 632-4311 or at MidwestTheater.com. Dylan Scott, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff with KNEB. Next Gen Outfitters is your new local online source for hunting, shooting, and camping gear. With over a century of combined outdoor experience, we aspire to become the trusted supplier of all your outdoor gear needs. Next Gen Outfitters is where adventure begins and tradition continues. For the month of April, get $25 off orders of $100 or more. Go to nextgenof.com and use code NGKNEB. That's N-E-X-G-E-N-O-F.com. Are you ready to join the celebration? Then what are you waiting for? Switch to Viero today and find out exactly why we're better. More towers than the competition, convenient stores in your neighborhood, friendly, helpful customer service, and top phones at excellent values, such as the iPhone XR for free. That's right, get a free iPhone XR when you purchase any other iPhone of equal or greater value. Viero Wireless, your better choice for wireless service. Welcome back. The 12 year old Scotchbluff boy who was involved in a gun related incident near a Scotchbluff elementary school earlier this year will spend two years on intensive supervised probation in a local group home. The boy received his sentence from Judge James Warden this week, which also includes 60 days of high tracking, drug testing, GPS tracking, 60 hours of community service and more. In the plea deal, the juvenile admitted to charges of attempted second degree murder, use of a firearm to commit a felony, possession of a stolen firearm, as well as terroristic threats. Prosecutors did drop three other felony allegations. Incidents involving a gun the boy had taken from a parent's home came to light following investigation of a gun-related report near Lincoln Heights Elementary School back in May. Well, the Nebraska State Patrol has the best-looking cruiser in the country. That's according to a just-finished popularity poll by the American Association of State Troopers. NSP Superintendent Colonel John Boldluck thanked everyone who voted in support of what was an amazing photo featuring the power of Nebraska weather. Trooper Clinton Zo snapped an outstanding picture of a trooper car in an epic tornado scene, which wasn't staged at all. He happened to be in the right place at the right time. I'm a little nervous about what he's going to come up with next year, but for this year, let's celebrate the success. And this belongs to all of you for participating in the survey and voting Nebraska number one. As the first place winner, the picture of the patrol cruiser will be on the cover of the 2020 AAST cruiser calendar, which supports families of state troopers across the country. This is the first time Nebraska has made the calendar in the history of the contest. And 16 people have been named to the committee that will help select the next University of Wyoming president. The panel members announced Wednesday by U.S. Board of Trustees Chairman David True include UW trustees, faculty, staff, and students, as well as former Governor Matt Mead. It is hoped that a new president will be selected by July 1st of 2020. Well, straight ahead, Chris Cottrell in with a wrap of yesterday's Legion baseball action at Oregon Trail Park. He's in at the sports desk right after the break. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. Success does transfer. When it comes to continuing your education, Shadron State College is a place you can call home. Our inviting atmosphere and small town feel provide a sense of community, 
Our faculty and staff help make the transfer process go smoothly and provide assistance for your entire time at CSC. I felt like I belonged as soon as I arrived for my campus visit. There were plenty of ways to get involved and meet new people. Shadron State was definitely the right fit for me. Join us today at csc.edu. U.S. National Hot Air Balloon Championship lands in western Nebraska. Starting August 12th, there will be 50 balloons coloring the sky. Then on the 16th and 17th, 30 Old West Balloon Fest pilots take flight. Can't make it to the morning launches? Enjoy one of two night glow options, August 15th at WNCC or the 17th at Five Rocks Amphitheater. There will be a kids' education zone and tethered rides for kids 12 and under. The morning launches at Mitchell Airfield. To learn more about the national competition and the Old West Balloon Fest, visit theoldwestballoonfest.com. Sometimes events in life are planned. Others, a happy surprise. No matter what life change you're navigating, whether you're getting married or just want a bigger yard for your pup, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Retirement. A new season in life where you can change how you live it. And something easier, convenient, that feels just right. When it's time, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. Today at the desk, that exciting finish to the Legion baseball season yesterday at Oregon Trail Park Stadium. After a Bennington win over Springfield to start the day, it was the Alliance Spartans up against Bennington in the title game of the Class B Legion State Tournament. An early 1-0 lead for Bennington, but in the bottom of the second inning, Alliance got a big RBI double from Vic Hinojosa to even things up. Now we move to the bottom of the fourth when both these teams really starting to show some wear and tear with their pitching staves. It's Bennington now leading by the score of 5-1. Look, Alliance had shown the ability to play well from behind in this tournament, and in their half of the fourth, they were able to score five runs on just one hit. Consecutive runs crossed the plate, scoring on a double. Then a hit by pitch, a walk, another walk, and the final run of the inning scored on a passed ball. At times yesterday, the strain of playing five straight days was evident for both pitching staffs. This back and forth title tilt went to the seventh inning tied at eight. After a big 4-6-3 double play, it appeared Alliance might be able to hold Bennington off the board. It wasn't meant to be a miscue on the infield ground ball to shortstop and Bennington plates the go-ahead run with two outs in the inning. The Spartans unable to threaten in the bottom of the seventh inning. Ryland Wallingford, who threw the final two and two-thirds innings, for Bennington retired the side in order. A title clinching ball on the infield sealed the deal as the celebration was on for Bennington. Bennington and head coach Jamie Schleifer lost their opening game of this tournament and then rallied to win six straight elimination games. I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, for them to drop that first game and then to fight and fight and fight and come back, you know, our motto was just get to the next guy, get to the next guy, get to the next man. And that's what this game was. Every time we got down, we fought back and fought back and fought back. And I'm so proud of them. For Alliance, a tremendous year comes to a close. Head coach Carlos Palamo laments coming up one win shy of the ultimate goal and also the struggles of trying to get a pitching staff through this five-day grind. Uh, it's tough to swallow. Um, these boys uh, fought and shown a lot of heart. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that we're on the losing end, but uh, I'm very proud of the way the boys competed in this tournament, and I think we surprised a lot of people um, the way we competed, and um, I, it's just it's a tough feeling to have right now. How tough? Very, very tough. Um, <laughs> I knew I needed some dudes today, and I had three of them, and I was able to use them, and, you know, um, came down to uh, executing our pitches and playing uh, defense behind our pitchers and we had a few errors there and um, you know Bennington's a team I took my cap to them they're a hell of a team and um, they're gonna keep punching and um, they found ways to score and um, you know. Not only was Alliance really good on the field they were really loud and proud in the stands at Oregon Trail Park Stadium routinely showing up in droves and that added a different element and provided a big home field advantage for the Spartans. Uh, I took my cap to them um, I think that helped give us a little bit more confidence and um, I, it was amazing hearing that sound and 
the roar and I appreciate all the support the community has, has shown us throughout the entire year and especially here at State, not only from Alliance but from the Panhandle. This is a very cool experience, something uh, we'll never forget. By most, if not all accounts, this tournament a major success. The Gearing Legion Baseball Committee and Tournament Director Mike Hutchison deserve some major pats on the back. The champions sound like they'd welcome a trip back in the future out west for another state tournament. Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, it's, it's hot, but it's we're not used to the, you know, usually it's humid. So, um, But the facility is fantastic. People here in Gehring and Scotts Bluff have been fantastic, you know, have treated my, my guys and my family with, with class, and it's been fantastic. So. It's Bennington, your 2019 Class B Legion State Champions Alliance, a valiant runner-up finish. Baseball over? You know what? Well, time to start to rev things up in a few weeks for the return of high school sports. That's the latest today from right here at the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. Ryan's back to check the community calendar right after this on KNEB.TV. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. We've been an Alla customer from the beginning, 15 plus years. Almost 15 years. 15 years now. They live here, they work here, they give back to our community. That's very important to us. It's the difference of night and day between our old internet provider and Allo. Having that reliability and that speed is extremely important. Nobody matches that speed. It was a game changer. Allo came to my site and helped me resolve an issue. At that point, I knew Allo was the company that I wanted to stick with. What are you waiting for? A six-year limited powertrain warranty? Savings on performance-matched implements? 0% APR financing for up to five years. Head down to your local Kubota dealer before September 30th and take advantage of this incredible offer on the BX Series, America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Kubota, this is what we do. Come into Sandberg Implement, your local Kubota dealer. Your local Kubota dealer is Sandberg Implement in Gehring. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At TCN Moore in Scotts Bluff, we have toys and puzzles for your children, or they make a great gift. TCN Moore has craft activities, pretend play toys, and dozens of puzzles and games for all ages. 
We also have the largest supply of Melissa and Doug toys. And we still carry all of your classroom essentials. Remember to like TCN More on Facebook. TCN More, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. The growth and prosperity of our community is dependent on the reinvestment of local dollars into our local economy. When you open a high interest savings account at Platte Valley Bank, we turn around and loan your money back to our community for new construction, business expansion, home loans, in backing agriculture, and much more. Come save with us at Platte Valley Bank and know that you are doing business with a local bank with local decisions that reinvests your money here in our community. And finally tonight, the Scotts Bluff County Fair is in full swing, and local 4-H and FFA kids have been busy showing their livestock this week at the fairgrounds. That's true for Scotts Bluff County 4-H member Addison Randall. Well, I'm just going to get ready to show and just try to have a good time. She's showing her two sheep named Kit and Cat, and will be getting some assistance from veteran Tegan Flick, who won grand overall market lamb last year at the fair. Now Flick isn't showing this year, but wanted to be involved. I've been showing for nine years and I've decided not to show at fair or state fair. I met my peak last year and I've just decided to help the youth this year. She says she's lending a hand with prepping for showmanship, shearing, fitting the lambs, and more. Tomorrow's 4-H and FFA events include beef showmanship and on Saturday, be the market sale. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time.